This video tutorial is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of some typical question styles that you'll be encountering while taking a deductive reasoning psychometric test. The following questions are from our free deductive reasoning test, which you can take before or following this video if you so choose. In a deductive test, there is a set of five to six premises in either verbal or image form. The objective is to determine whether the statement asked is true, false, or has insufficient information against the given premises. One must follow the information to its logical conclusion. Only one of the given options is correct. Inductive logic is different from deductive logic. With deductive reasoning, possible outcomes are explored and discounted in order to arrive at the only possible outcome without contradicting the given premises. It examines the applicant's ability to reach general conclusions based on perceived patterns observed in specific events. Like this statement, all deductive reasoning tests are easy. Test 1 is a deductive reasoning test. Therefore, test 1 is easy. As we look at this question, I'll help by giving a visual display of the premises given to better reach our logical conclusion. A useful tool is to establish what variables are present in this question. The first premise contains a large silver watch, so we have a large silver watch. The second premise contains a small silver watch and a gold watch, so we have a small silver watch and a gold watch. The third premise introduces the bronze watch. OK, so these are our variables. Now let's go through the premises carefully. The large silver watch states the time as 1550. OK, we can use this as a starting position from which to assess the other premises. As you can see, I've given a visual representation. The best thing to do here would be to now look at a premise that uses the large silver watch variable so we can build on our logical conclusion. The gold watch is 10 minutes slower than the large silver watch. So in this case, the gold watch displays the time as 1540. Continuing this variable chain, the small silver watch displays the same time as the gold watch. So the small silver watch displays the time as 1540 also. And finally, the last two premises involving the bronze watch. The bronze watch is small in size and is five minutes faster than the small silver watch. In this question, size is not our concern, but time is. And we can see that five minutes faster than the small silver watch at 1540 is 1545. This means that our question statement is true. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. We hope it's been helpful. Best of luck with your test practicing here at Assessment Day.